This is Nate with Stray Blogger for training number three. This training is about how to make your site look good. Uh, making your site look good is really important. You, in your own, you know, uh, web surfing patterns, you probably notice that if you land on a site that looks crappy, or if it's too cluttered, there's too much going on, or if just the overall design is bad, you pr you probably instantly leave. Um, and that's what will happen with the your, your niche blogs if you don't make them look really good. And making them, luckily with WordPress, making them look good is really easy. Um, two things, well, sorry, one thing that you need to realize about choosing a blog design or a blog theme, WordPress theme, is uh, it's going to cost you something. What I mean is, whether you choose a free or a paid theme, it, they're both going to cost you something. Free themes obviously don't cost money because they're free. They will cost you time and functionality. Um, there's a free theme that I use on a lot of my blogs, including Stray Blogger. It's called Atahualpa, and it's by a, they, a company called Bytes for All um, designs it. And it's free. It's very, it has very high functionality. You can customize anything about it. That is not such a good thing for a lot of people, apparently. Um, you know, people that... I've recommended it to that just aren't design savvy, really struggle with trying to use it. So um, you can customize anything about Atahualpa. And, you know, I kind of, I mean, I know how to use Photoshop and Illustrator and I know HTML and CSS and stuff like that. Um, so for me, it's for me, it's easy. And if you're design savvy, it's, I mean, it's not that hard to figure out either. There will be a learning curve, kind of, to figure out how to really use Atahualpa and change, you know, change the whole look and functionality of your blog to exactly how you want it. But if free is your thing and, and you know, you don't mind spending a few hours figuring that out, then go with Atahualpa. On the other hand, paid themes are exactly the opposite. They are not free, they cost money, but they're not going to cost you that much time and functionality. Um, they're designed, well, most of them. The one that I like the best that I use on, I, I have a few blogs in the fitness niche, and on those on those sites, I like to use um, Studio Press. Studio Press is just very well done. I think that it's the best paid theme there is. Um, there, are, there are a few themes that you see promoted a lot, and again, that's because those companies pay high commissions, you know, to affiliates. So you'll see Socrates promoted a lot, and you'll see Thesis promoted a lot. Um, they're good themes, I think. I've never used them. But on the back end, the affiliates get paid a high percentage. So you see those promoted a lot. Studio Press, um, as far as I'm concerned, is the best paid theme for your, for your money. The nice thing about it is, if you're planning on just, you know, uh, pumping out a bunch of these affiliate niche sites over the next year or whatever, or next few months, you buy Studio Press once, you can use it on as many sites as you want to. So, there's a link to Atahualpa and Studio Press below. You can click on both of them and see what you think. Um, I guess the bottom line would be if you'd rather pay some money to save yourself. Uh, hours of work then paid is the thing you know the way that you should go if free is free is free in your mind then choose Atahualpa um, as far as plugins there's a few plugins that I recommend that you should use on all your blogs um, the first one would be Platinum SEO Platinum SEO is just a very easy way easy and effective way to specify what your homepage keywords are and what your whole basically what your whole site's keywords are going to tell Google that they are. Um, you can just click on Add New Plugins on the left side of WordPress and search for Platinum SEO. You'll find it, obviously. You just click Install. It's instantly done. And then you just configure it. You type in your, your homepage keywords, um, the meta title, the meta description. That's what's going to show up in Google when your website you know shows up as a listing. Um, Google Analytics, this is always what I've used. If you like another statistics or another analytics uh, suite or software, then, you know, 
whatever floats your boat. I like Google Analytics. It's the only thing I've ever really used. Pretty Links. Pretty Links is awesome. Um, this is a free plugin. Well, there's a pro version, which I don't use. I'm not that worried about cloaking my links. Um, what Pretty Links does is you install the plugin and then you go into the Pretty Links, uh, I mean, I don't know, configuration area or whatever, and you type in a destination URL. If it's an affiliate link or just a link to another post on another blog or, or whatever, usually those, those links are really long. And so what Pretty Links does is exactly what it says it is. Uh, it will just say, if you had this big long affiliate link, or you know, like mine, like a, my link to Bluehost is an affiliate link, and it's a, a really long commission junction ugly link. And when I enter that in, you know, you put that in the destination URL, and then below that you just type what you want it to say. And, you know, so it says strayblogger.com backslash Bluehost, and that's it. So Pretty Links is awesome for um, changing how your links look in the status bar at the bottom of the browser when when a user hovers over it. The next thing for a niche for a niche blog um, that is not in the IM niche, I would go far as to say this is a necessity. Exit splash or an exit pop up, uh, they are so effective. I know it's a kind of kind of a controversial subject, but it's only controversial in the IM community. You know, you'll hear people on the Warrior Forum say, you know, I don't care what percentage of conversions it costs me, I will never use a an exit pop-up on my sites because I hate them so bad and I think they're so intrusive and I mean that like if you're actually in this is for a business endeavor like trying to make money that's absolutely stupid I mean I don't care how you feel about it you can hate exit pop-ups all you want but you've got to understand that most people um, that are coming to your niche websites are not in the I am niche so they don't see these things all the time 20 times a day and these th the bottom line is these things work uh, most of my sites, like the average increase in conversion I get is around 30%. Um, they're just very, very effective. And so I would highly recommend, again, if you have a niche website that it is not in the IM niche, which, uh, by the way, don't, do not choose IM for, like, don't choose make money online for your first uh, niche website. That's just don't do that just take my advice and don't do it um, if you have a niche website outside of I am internet marketing people do not see these all the time and they are very effective so I would highly recommend that you use an exit pop-up on your um, squeeze page for your email list and then for your if, if it's your own product if you've had your own product created definitely definitely use it on your sales page as well so those are the, the plugins that I install on every single blog I set up.